Inside the wax I museum? Stoked by this. Yeah, these are actual, uh, I believe, um, authentic Movie Land Wax Museum figures from the original Movie Land Wax Museum. And uh, you can see there's quite, they're quite animated. And uh, that really kind of uh, gives you a creepy feeling when you're going through these dark hallways. Now, can you tell me a story about anything that's happened around here? Well, several people have said when they come in here, they can actually hear the sounds of people um, traveling on this gravel that we're just about to go on right now. They can be standing about where we are, but um, if you listen, it gets really quiet when you stop speaking, and you can hear the people's footsteps on this gravel right here going down into the mine. Going down into the mine. Let me just put the microphone down on the ground yeah. and, uh, before we go in there and see if we hear anything. He's had somebody's cell phone. Yeah, turn off your phone, dude. <laughs> Come on. Hold on, let's get... <laughs> a little bit of the bravery for you guys. Okay, everybody be quiet for 10 seconds. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of activity in the park tonight, so... Yeah, we'll hear some stuff behind. In the background. You can see some of the buckets and some of the tools and so forth that the workers from about seven years ago left here when they uh, went steaming out of this place. Seven years ago they left. Right. And uh, myself, we uh, opened up this uh, place when we first started making Bonnie Screens into a Halloween event. And uh, then when I first came in here, it was uh, very, very creepy. You could tell that nobody had been in here for for many, many days, and in fact, uh, some of the wood floors um, on the other side of the Wax Museum here um, actually uh, were covered in dust, and I was leaving um, complete footprints in the dust as I was traveling through. Uh, okay, Pat, there is your hey, wait. Is there anything going on up here? Now you can see... Uh, yeah, I feel something moving about. I cannot hear it uh, physically, but there's something moving about up there. Now, are we inside an actual mine right now? No, this is actually a simulated mine. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're kind of a little bit in the basement area of the wax museum. It was built in this level to kind of keep these guys cool, you know, because of the hot desert heat. So they didn't want them to melt. These are actual authentic wax figures here. Okay. Wow. Oh, I think I just saw one move. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's move down the spooky hallway. This is one of the previous spots for me. You can see the, the, the expressions on these people, and we have the monk there, and it's just they're uh, very, very creepy looking. And they all have history behind them, as you can tell by their little uh, plaques and so forth. But uh, you can tell. I told you. It's not just me. I told you. What? What's going on in the back row there? Technical difficulties. On both That's so very common when you are in haunted places. Oh yeah, I went. Oh wait, control. you guys are having technical difficulties back no, there because be battery drainage. Lisa told me that their, her camcorder turned off, and now I'm getting reports that the digital camera is dead on the battery. Yeah, I think everybody. I just put those off. batteries wait, the battery in there. Has already been filled back up. So, so it shut off on its own and then came back on on its own. Where were you exactly when that? Oh, happened? in the front. When we just start oh, when we first <laughs> started walking. <laughs> We didn't even get to the. What I, I, was, I told Joe. I was like, <laughs> "What does that mean, Panther?" It's an energy. Um, it's when the uh, spirits are here, and they obviously don't stay back there. They obviously come all the way out here, <laughs> and like electronics often bleed off temporarily when there are spirits around. It, it, mm -hmm. One of the theories awesome. is that they that they draw on the energy. They're trying to manifest themselves, and they'll pull energy from wherever they can get it. I don't, know, I don't spots. feel that it's, uh, in this case here, it's not so, um, it's not conscious that they're doing it. It's more like two magnets being attracted. They, could, they feel the energy and they go... Gimme. <laughs> nice. Hmm. It's a theory. All right, let's continue. I think it's Bonnie a good one. <laughs> now, you know, they <laughs> say that the, the reason that Bonnie Springs is haunted is not from anything that's basically recent as far as deaths here on the property or that type of thing. Um, from what I've heard and what I understand is the belief is that it's actually from the Indians that lived here long ago in this particular area of the desert and that they may have actually had some sort of a burial ground right around this area and uh, that's the type of uh, sensations a lot of folks have explained. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Yeah. There, there's more than that. It's not just under there. There are newer ones as well. Okay. Wow. Well, like what? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> but there, there's definitely something. Something that's been yeah, firing us something. from the beginning. We're three minutes into the tour and I'm already freaked out. How are you guys in the back row? Are you guys freaking out here? If, if one more video camera goes dead, I'm out. <laughs> Now what is this here? It looks pretty uh Watch the Yeah, this this is one of those areas where they were working on it, actually started working on the uh, the area in here, uh, doing some repairs and so forth when uh, to my understanding um, some of the workers got pretty frightened due to uh, some type of activity in here. And they simply just dropped everything and then left? That's it, you can see some of the wood. There was actually some tools out here that we moved right in the front before we opened just so they weren't, you know, right in the scene, but uh, yeah, it was pretty interesting. Well, there's some right there. Oh, look at I mean, Joe, what do you think about all this stuff here? Are you getting voices? I'm, I'm hearing Lisa talking. <laughs> I stopped a while ago. How about we, uh, I'm in this room? I'm hearing a chatter. I don't know, there's a lot of stuff outside. What do you feel? That's definitely activity, but I'm not hearing anything at this point. Sometimes, sometimes microphones can pick up things that your ear cannot pick up. We know from the uh, uh, great batteries or great electronics that we definitely have some company right now. Should we have some uh, 